Hi guys, Mama Mira here, and today I'm making a loaf of feta bread. So um, let's get started. All right, so I'm using today one cup of milk, and you make sure that this is warm, pretty warm, not not hot though. You don't want it hot, just warm. And then I'm going to be using a half a cup of feta and that's just your regular old crumbled up feta trying to use up my feta so a half a cup on that and then two tablespoons of olive oil Okay, and that's the two tablespoons of olive oil. And then your next thing you would want to add would be your three cups of bread flour. I like to just kind of turn the pan around so it gets even inside. And I use these little uh, type of cups to uh, do my measuring with, and they're like a little nest that they just, there's three of them that it comes to. And you just stack them inside, and then I put my little, um, measuring cups inside or my little measuring spoons inside there also so everything's kind of really compact down okay so now we got our bread flour in there okay and then the next thing you would want to add is you would want to add three teaspoons of sugar and i like to put my sugar right in the very middle of my bucket and then i'm going to add um some oregano Actually, let me back up here. Let's go to the salt. So on the salt, I'm not adding a lot of salt on this. Um, I'm actually just using a half a teaspoon of salt. And you don't want the salt to go on top of the sugar. You want it to go a little bit away from the sugar, okay? Then you're going to go to the oregano. So now on the oregano, I use a half a teaspoon of the oregano. And I'm going to put that over in the far corner, too. I'm not going to mix that. Okay. I actually am going to add a little bit of the, the ones that are more, uh, not crushed. Those other ones were grounded up crushed because I use the, um, what I use when I uh, bring them out of the garden and I dry them out. Then I put them in my coffee bean grinder and I grind them up to be powder. It makes really nice, uh powder to uh, you know to use from your garden so I'm just going to add a little bit of this there we go. okay then the last thing I will want to add will be my one teaspoon of yeast now on the one teaspoon of yeast I'm going to add that right on top of my sugar Okay, then I take my pan, I go over here, and I make sure it snaps down, plug it in. Okay, so now I'm going to dial it up to one, uh, number one, which is your basic setting. Okay, it's on one, and I'm going to choose a light crust and start it so okay so that's going and you want to make sure remember what i've said in the, in the other videos is you want to make sure that your flour does not stick to the side of your bucket you want to move that with your spatula you want to take that and move that to the center so that it will form that ball and we'll come back and see how this looks Okay, so there's our nice loaf of feta bread. Mmm, 
Smells good too. Okay, so I'm going to position the camera so that you'll be able to see uh, me taking it out of the machine and then uh, slicing it up. This one we're gonna slice up. The other one was a gift, so. <laughs> but this one we're gonna slice up. Normally I wait about 15 minutes. I take it out of the pan and I wait about 15 minutes to slice it up. So here we go. Okay. So we're taking it out now, and you want to make sure that you've got something that really is, um, you know, heavy duty that when you pull this pan out, this pan is really hot. Okay, and then I just take and put it, I, let me turn this way so you can see how I did this. Okay, so now, see how this is like this here? Okay, I usually, I'm right-handed, so I usually like to grab that and kind of hold this up, and then I turn it upside down, and I give it a couple shakes like that and comes out pretty clean okay and then at this point you see how it's still stuck inside there okay so what I would do is I would take a knife and I would just go around the edge don't touch it with your hands though because it's really super hot and that's I would take that and kind of uh, use like a, a, a fork or actually what really works the best is the the wine opener the metal one you can just get that in there and pop it right out so turn it up on its end there and then you have your knife pretty hot <laughs> okay all right let me turn this where you can really see this good and then my husband loves the end pieces I usually if I if you know if I'm slicing this, I slice off all the crust because he likes the crust. I like the middle. Cat likes the middle too. The kittens like the middles. They like the bread. They like anything. <laughs> We're parents of 14 furrow cats. Boy, they can smell everything coming out of the RV. <laughs> Food cooking, they stand at the door. Why? Okay. Now, the first slice, slice is pretty good because, you know, it's crusty. But then that's where the 15 minutes pays off waiting for it. Oh, let me unplug the machine. It's beeping to unplug it. Okay. All right. So then I take at this point and I would slice the rest of them. I'm not going to do that. You can see that this, this is, let's turn it up. This is a beautiful bread. Smells good too. That's got fat in it. Mm, boy, that smells good. Mm. Anyway, okay, so there you have it. Beautiful feta loaf. So now, wait about 15 minutes and then it's, it's you know, pretty much ready for you to slice. And then you slice, you probably could get at least like uh, 11 slices of bread out of that. Now, um, now you see that my bread is slightly kind of going this away. And I think the reason why it's doing that is because I'm missing like one leg over here. <laughs> anyway, I might have to build up a fake leg to make it worth even because sometimes it shakes. I put this little pad down here to keep it from shaking, but it still shakes once in a while. You know, it's, it's, she's an old girl. <laughs> but it didn't affect the taste of the bread. <laughs> Okay, so now here's another little thing about this machine or any of the bread machines. Once you bring that bread out, you know, this machine has to cool down. And so you need to give it some time to cool down before you can just pop another loaf in. Because you could go ahead and mix it up into the pan and get it ready. And you put it in, but it's not going to start. It won't. It's got to be cooled down in order for it to be ready to go again. So anyway, there you got it. You got your feta loaf bread. All right, thank you very much for watching my video. And if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. You guys have a great day. Hmm. Go home and make some feta bread. See ya. Bye now.